What is going on guys? Welcome again to my channel and for those who are new here, my name is Hill and I am making videos such as Real Estate and Investments 101, Travel Vlogs, Moto Vlogs, and Lifestyle Videos. So if any of those contents may you find interesting, please consider subscribing. And now, in today's video, pag-uusapan natin the 3 easy steps kung paano ka makakapag-apply ng housing loan sa pag-ibig. And sisimulan natin yan pagkatapos na intro. One, two, three, come on! So, bakit nga ba kailangan nating ipadaan pa sa pag-ibig pag kumuha tayo ng bahay? Well, dahil nga hindi naman tayo kasing yaman ni Bill Gates na if ever meron tayong nagustuhang bahay, eh pwede natin kaagad bilhin ng cash. In short, kailangan nating mahutang. That's why, kakailanganin natin ang tulong ng mga financial institutions. And one of those is yung pag-ibig or pag-ibig fund. So what happens is, Bibilhin muna ni Pag-ibig ang property from that developer and then doon ka na magbabayad or doon ka na may utang sa Pag-ibig. Ibig sabihin, doon ka na magbabayad ng monthly sa Pag-ibig which we also call as monthly amortization. Siyempre dahil nga utang siya, meron siyang applicable interest. But don't worry, Pag-ibig offers the lowest interest of up to 5.35%. So, mababa lang yung interest. Affordable naman siya. Now, I will give you the three steps kung paano ka makakapag-apply ng housing loan through pag-ibig. Number one, find a property. Yes, humanap ka muna ng property na gusto mo and mag-decide ka if you want that property na i-loan natin sa pag-ibig. If gusto mo, malapit lang sa area kung saan ka nakatira ngayon, you may try to search the area. Ang isa ring madaling paraan para makahanap ka kagad ng property na gusto mo is through social medias. Example, Facebook and websites. Sobrang dali na lang ngayon maghanap ng property, especially sa Facebook, dahil maraming mga agents or brokers ang nagpo-post ng mga samot-samong properties doon. May bahay, lupa, condo, Etc. So doon ka mas mabilis makakahanap ng properties na gusto mo. Number 2. Find a reliable real estate agent or real estate broker. Mostly kasi, pag may nahanap ka na ng property or bahay on social media, it could be that the source of that listing is a real estate agent or a real estate broker. But be careful when choosing the agent or the broker. Kasi, marami pa rin mga agents ngayon or brokers na pag naka-reserve ka na ng property mo, hindi ka na masyadong i-entertain or hindi ka nila masyadong i-assist or sa mga requirements ng pagkuha mo ng property na yon. So, find a reliable real estate agent or real estate broker dahil they will make the process of your housing loan application easy. They will be the one to assist you with the process and also gathering the requirements. Kaya, madali lang mag-apply ng housing loan dahil merong real estate agent or broker that will assist you through the process hanggang makalipat ka sa bahay na kinuha mo. Step 3. This step is optional. Go to pag-ibig yourself. If you don't want to engage with a real estate agent or a real estate broker, you can always choose to go directly to your chosen financial institution such as Pag-ibig. But when you get there, isa lang din ang sasabihin nila sa'yo. Find a property first. Ibig sabihin, babalik ka lang din sa step number one. And to tell you honestly, medyo hassle pag ikaw mismo ang mag-process and mag-gather ng mga requirements mo. So I suggest na umanap ka ng reliable real estate agent to assist you in your housing loan process. And that's it. 
Those are the three easy steps kung paano ka makakapag-apply ng housing loan sa pag-ibig. Ganun lang po kadali. Bakit? Your real estate agent or your chosen real estate broker will do the hard things. Kasi trabaho nila yon To assist you as a real estate person. So, wag mong isipin na sobrang hassle kumuha ng property these days. Dahil sobrang dali lang po. It's just as easy as 1, 2, 3. Dahil meron mga real estate persons that will assist you. And in the next video, pag-uusapan naman natin kung ano ba ang mga basic requirements pag nag-apply ka ng housing loan sa pag-ibig. So, if you're also interested in that topic, make sure to subscribe in my channel. Hit the notification bell para updated ka kagad pag lumabas na yung bagong video. And kung nagustuhan mo ang video na to, pwede mo siyang i-like, pwede ka rin mag-comment, pwede mo rin siyang i-share. Kung nagustuhan mo lang. So thank you, thank you again for watching. I am your Bachelor PH. I will see you on the next one.